All right, guys, I was asked to do a video on how we use the hot. I'm going to try to keep this sweet and short. I will do a better video actually using the dog. I'm just letting it dry up here. We even got real muddy, real muddy here. So right now we're just on walks and stuff. I'm not putting nobody in the muddy spot on the hide. Not just yet. Not just yet. So listen, you let your hide sit out in water, equivalent to letting your dog just chew on it. And take in if you're able to take it away from them after chewing on it. This is what you're gonna get. This is what you buy at the store and give to your dog to chew on. That's your bone now. This is how it should look. That's how it should look. So listen to me. Um, Rough Stock actually said it perfect. I'm gonna try to quote him on this if I can remember it right. If your dog has four legs on the ground while it's playing with hot, then you gave him a chew toy. You gave him a chew toy. This right here is equivalent to that chew toy. You can give him a chew toy. Two legs on the ground, you got a working tool. I understand they say four legs on the ground is better, which is why I will do a video explaining that. There's still a difference. It's four legs with work. If the dog got four legs on the ground easy and just chewing on it, you're wrong. You're going to tear your hide up. It's no good. You want to keep some resistance on there. All right? If your dog's getting the whole thing in his mouth and then just chewing on it, he's going to eat it. He's going to eat it. The hide will go bad. Do not leave the hide out in any type of water. Or rain, I should say. After you finish using your hide, put it up somewhere dry and safe. Get it out the air, get it out the weather. Again, I'll do another video, actually uh, working the dog, and I'll with a brand new piece of hide to show the difference. This is a, a used hide that one of them tore. You can see, they tore it off. And that's okay too. Sometimes you'll get a hide, a fresh one, and like, like I said, I'll do another video. I think I have a, very, a real fresh hide and I haven't, haven't used it yet. And sometimes, say for example, if this hide had this much more on it, it should be this. If this hide was like this, and that dog, as soon as you give him the hide, he bites a piece off, for example. Now it's in half. That's okay too, that's okay, that's okay. Once they start chewing on it and working it and putting that slopper on it, then it's going to get like this. Then it'll be like this, to where it'll go back to the same spot every time once it dry up. Once it dries up, it goes right back. All right? But if you leave it in the rain or let a dog chew on it, this has both. I accidentally left this one out, and I had a dog chewing on it that I was teaching. Now... That's when you want to let your dog chew on the hide. When your dog don't mess with the hide, he can care less about it, then you give him a chew toy. Once they chew on it, and they won't all eat it. They'll just, some will chew on it, some will, some's gonna eat it. And that's okay too. Again, you can buy this at the store. This is a prime example of what you're buying at the store. It's the same thing. This is just dried out. Same thing. So, don't give your dog the hide if you want to keep the high, make it last. Make it last. Now, they will chew it up. They will eat it. It does not last forever. It does not last forever. All right? So, again, I'll do another video explaining this more. But keep your hide out the weather. If you want it to last, don't give your dog the hide on four legs. Make them work for it. That is okay. That's the whole point. If you're doing hide on the uh, flirt pole, don't let your dog get the hide. It's a flirt pole. It's flirt pole. You're flirting with them. You're flesh. <laughs> it's just like that male or female where when you flirting. You ain't all the way in there. You're just flirting. You're just playing. That's what we're doing. You're just flirting. You can call, just call it teasing them. Sure. It's flirt pole. If you're on that flirt pole and you give your dog the hide, you're wrong. You're already using the flirt pole wrong in the first place. You're supposed to be chasing it, chasing it. Now, when I put it on a tug... Or anything like that that's when i want them to be able to grab it and pull grab it and pull this is no good for work now it's just a chew toy that's all it is now 
So, I will do a better video of this. Like I said, we're muddy here. We just got out this bad weather. So, hopefully tomorrow I can do a better video actually working them and showing y'all what I mean. All right? Take care of your hide. Take care of your hide. Do not leave it out in the weather. After your dog finished using it, get your hide. 